All right, this video is going to be about how to configure a Kyocera to scan using a Gmail account. First thing you'll need to do is web into the machine. You'll have to know the IP address. Then log in as the administrator. And that is both admin, both with capital A's under username and password. You log in. Once you're logged in, you'll need to go scroll down to function settings and email settings. First thing you need to do is turn on SMTP protocol. So click on protocol, scroll down to SMTP, and you want to check that on. Under SMTP security, you want to select SSL TSL, then scroll down and submit. Once you're done with that, scroll back down to email and use the SMTP server of the Gmail account. So in this case, it's smtp.gmail.com. Under port number, and this is the important one of the important parts, you have to use 465 because port 20 and 587 will not work. Under authentication protocol, you need to select on. And under authentication, you need to select other. And so you'll need to type in a valid Gmail account, a valid Gmail email account. In my case, I've already created one for this. OK. Then you'll need to type in the password for that Gmail account. Before you hit test, and this is the other important part, you need to enter that same Gmail account in this field. Otherwise, it'll error out. Verify that everything is correct. Okay. And it's not. Okay. Okay. And hit submit. Now you should be able to hit the test button. And connection is OK. So now you can go to the machine and start sending emails through the machine. If you want the machine to scan to you, um, you can go to notification reports. And if you want the machine to email you the counter status, you can do so by clicking on counter status and then typing the email account that you want the machine to email you its counters. Thanks for watching.